quick disclaimer before we get into the video. I just want to tell you guys right off the bat, you will make these four mistakes. Before we even get started, you will make these four mistakes. Every mistake on the video, I've done it more than once. Every trucker has. When you're starting out, you're gonna make these mistakes, but I'm hoping by making this video for you that I can kind of mitigate some of the, the mistakes that you'll make and give you guys a little bit of knowledge to possibly prevent them or to at least decrease the number of times that you make the mistakes. So let's get into this video. If it's helpful for you guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps me with the algorithm. Let's get right into it. The first mistake I want to talk about, guys, is not properly planning your routes. You have to trip plan. If you haven't already, go check out my video about trip planning and route planning. It's a great video for a new driver that's trying to learn how to navigate to their destination. If you don't have a trucker GPS, it'll be the perfect video for you to watch because in that video, I actually cover a free GPS that's not trucker path and it's not co-pilot. It's a free GPS, totally free, that I actually use being local and it's been working great for me. That video will help you with trip planning and I definitely recommend you go check that video out. Guys, it's really important to trip plan because if you don't and you're just driving and winging it, that's how you get stuck on a low bridge. That's how you get in accidents. That's how you end up on restricted roads. You got a trip plan. You have to be prepared of where you're going. You want to already know the interstate that you're going to be on before you hit it. You don't want to be lost and trying to plug in where you're at in the midst of you driving on a, on a highway, guys. You wanna already have your route planned to where you know that, oh, this is Interstate 10, I know Interstate 10. I'm gonna be on Interstate 10, I'm gonna go on 610. I already know this because I looked at my route beforehand. So you're, there, won't be, there won't be any surprises that way. It'll really mitigate your mistakes if you know where you're going and you see the road signs and it all looks familiar to you because you trip plan ahead of time. I strongly recommend that and I also, covered in the other video about calling the customers. Make sure you call the customers to see if there's any issues that you'll have. You don't wanna wait until you're already in front of the warehouse and notice that you can't park properly. You wanna already ask these questions ahead of time. That will help you tremendously on your first few runs. All right, the next mistake I see far too often from new drivers, and I made this mistake plenty of times, is not taking that time to practice how to back up that truck. You need that experience, you need that time. I understand that there's pressure from dispatchers, there's pressure from customers, they want their freight, understandably so. What good is getting to their destination if you're gonna hit something because you're not confident in backing? You're the captain of the ship. Take 20 minutes or 30 minutes out of your run, Find a big parking lot, a large empty space you can use, and learn how to maneuver the truck. You'll thank yourself later. I'm gonna let my wife explain how hard it was for her. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you really wanna practice. You just really wanna practice. Don't wait until you get to the customers to try to figure out how to back take some time and back in advance. And if you're having trouble backing, I really recommend that you go to My Trucking Skills on YouTube. His channel is very descriptive and detailed on how to get you to where you need to be. He has different viewpoints of, of the truck and using a drone and all type of stuff, man. I really recommend you go check him out. Another YouTuber I found helpful when I was starting out is Junior Honduras. He's real good with the backing as well. Those two channels will help you get good at backing no time i really recommend you check those guys out don't wait until the last minute to practice your backing you will regret it trust me you don't want to wait until you're at a truck stop at 10 o'clock at night to figure out how to back it does not work out and that leads me into my next point stop early look for parking early i know that people prefer to drive in the daytime and sleep at night but i really would i would really recommend that you try to end your days around 3 to 5 p.m after 5 you're not going to find a parking spot at a truck stop it's not going to happen you're going to be struggling in the back i really would recommend if you're new you would try to get into a truck stop around 3 to 5. don't wait until it's 10, 11 o'clock at night to try to find a place to stop. You wanna stop early. You don't wanna get into a situation where now that you, you waited too late, 
to find a place to stop you're on the side of a road somewhere in an abandoned warehouse in compton you don't want to do that you want to be in a safe secure place that's well lit and there's other truckers around so that way you're safe and you, you don't have to sleep with one eye open i really recommend that you stop early that way you'll allow yourself the time to make mistakes because there'll be plenty of spaces open. And that's also when you can get good practice and you can shut it down after you get into the spot. I wouldn't recommend that you drive and try to burn your clock out until midnight and then look for a spot. I did that plenty of times and I regretted it every single time and I was super stressed out because there'll be the one spot at a loves that's in the corner that no one wants and you're trying to fit into it just so you don't run out of hours definitely stop in advance so that will help you get the best possible parking spot that you need and my last step and i think this may be the most important step is to not panic calm down you need to stop I couldn't tell you how many times I could have gotten out of a jam way easier if I just would have took a break and looked around in my surroundings and try to figure out what's going on logically. When you're flustered, you're going to make mistakes. Let's say hypothetically that you pass your exit, just keep going. Don't panic. You will find a place to pull over if need be or you'll, re you'll figure out a way to get back to where you were going. You don't have to freak out. If you're if you feel like you're going too slow, go a little slower. Slow down. Take a moment to think. Assess your situation. If you think you're going to hit something, stop. Get out and look. I know they tell us that in truck school all the time and you get comfortable. You don't want to get out of the truck anymore and look like that rookie, but get out of the truck. I got out of the truck so many times when I was brand new and it helped me so much. I avoided a lot of near collisions and you need to get out look around assess the situation see what makes sense for you don't wait until you're already about to hit something to react to it be proactive not reactive just slow down take a look at what's going on around you if you avoid those four mistakes i really think it will help you be on the path of being a, a better driver guys so without that i'm blocking <sighs> Oh, I had to move. So with that being said, guys, I believe if you if you manage those four tips, you will become a better truck driver in no time. You just got to be patient and allow yourself the room to fail. But I hope by watching this video, it will give you guys a little bit of insight to where you won't have to make some of the mistakes that I made. But if you do, it's OK. Just brush it off your shoulder and you guys can do it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. You already know, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Until next time, stay blessed. It's Gene rolling out.